This is going to the show, and I'm just a regular guy. Hey, Happy New Year. But you know what? We still got some business from last year left. It's good business. It's my best of list for 2018. There's 10 of them, so let's get going. Number 10, Hearts Beat Loud. A father and daughter start an unlikely indie band in Brooklyn with Nick Offerman as the dad. It was sweet and funny in a minor key. Number 9, First Man. The Neil Armstrong story. More about the man than the moon, but it was beautifully shot. Totally tense and a very harrowing trip for a reluctant hero. It was no small step. Number 8, Avengers Infinity Wars. It rounded up all of the Marvel superheroes to take on one super evil dude in a massive universal battle royale. Until things got a little dusty. To be continued. Number seven, Isle of Dogs. Nothing else looked like this Wes Anderson stop motion future where all of the dogs have been sent to Trash Island. Inventive animation and not a cute and cuddly puppy among the bunch. Hey, would you let a mutt voiced by Jeff Goldblum sit on your lap? Number six, best movie, The Green Book. The odd coupling of the year. A bada-bing nightclub bouncer with muscle and a black concert pianist who wears robes on a concert tour through the rednecks out in the 60s. It was really funny, and emotionally, it hit all of the right chords. Number five, Mission Impossible Fallout. Whatever you think about Crazy Cruise, you can't say he ain't a max effort guy. And along with the twists and turns and surprises, he personally made Mission Impossible the action movie of the year. Again. Number four, Bradley Cooper sang. Lady Gaga acted, and together they shot this showbiz warhorse full of new energy and authenticity that stayed true to the story, and with good songs took it from an unnecessary remake to the number four best movie of the year, A Star is Born. Number three, shh. Number three was a quiet place. Oh, it was so scary. It made me afraid to open my Twizzlers. Number two, maybe the best and most creative superhero movie ever, the vibranium-powered blockbuster that broke ground, busted mitts, and made a trip to Wakanda, the number two best show-going experience of the year, Black Panther. But... The movie that I had the best time at the show at was the only movie that had songs I originally listened to on an 8-track in my old Cutlass. It made me stop my feet, clap my hands, and say, Rami Malek, you have rocked me. Bohemian Rhapsody, one of the most entertaining musical biopics ever, and definitely the best show-going experience of 2018. So there you go. Now, you want to hear some of my other reviews? Those are at 93XRT.com. You can get them on a podcast. And I'm just a regular guy on 93XRT, Chicago's finest rock.